Hey, hi there Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and I'm thanking you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading July 5th to the 7th of 2019. Aquarius Sun Moon and Ascendance. This is a predictive condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. Cross watcher energies are interchangeable and I invite you to subscribe, like, comment and share. It really does help me out a lot and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aquarius, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number one of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, The Magician. Aquarius, you're making something happen. It's using your skill and your knowledge and your tools to create things. This can be an Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. The ruling planet is Mercury. This has to do with creative power, intention, and will. This is a masculine energy card. This is someone that draws power from above to materialize their desires. That cosmic lemon skate, that sideways figure eight, is a symbol of eternal life, domination, and indicating the harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious, idea and feeling, desire and emotion. So you'll need to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen. So stay focused on your goals. This is a time for creation and beginning and taking on challenges. It's a time for action. Second card. And this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This card is ruled by the four elements, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. They're the fixed signs. They're the guide signs that guide us on to the next phases in our life. And next to the Wheel of Fortune, this indicates everything happening fast. Change is happening fast. This is success learned and earned. It's skill versus fortune. It's will versus destiny. This is exciting and intense. And things happening very rapidly in the spread here. It can be surprises. You might feel lucky. These are, it has to do with fate and destiny and fortune and elevation. It's karma. As the wheel turns, life changes, and things never say this, stay the same. And events are going to turn around in some fashion, and this situation is going to change on its own accord. It's already something that's been put into motion. And now you have to accept the actions of the force and of destiny, and align yourself with those aims. Generally, however, the outcome is considered favorable. It will promote your growth and advancement. And it's a reminder that every period of intense activity must be followed by a fallow time of rest and inactivity. This is a stroke of luck. It's unexpected. It could be a windfall. Those winged creatures that are assigned to the zodiac, they represent stability amidst the movement. And each one holds to the Torah. That's the law. And that represents wisdom. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. It's your attitude. The Four of Pentacles, Aquarius. This is Earth energy. This card represents holding on. You're being defensive in your comfort zone. You're being cautious and trying to be stable and balance and conserve. You might have a fixed attitude which would limit and block new opportunities. This is someone being cautious. You're protecting your money and your boundaries. But the advice is to go with the flow. Your foundation is firm. Holding back, there's nothing ventured and nothing gained. Holding on to his gold, he risks nothing, nor does he gain anything. This can apply to anything someone holds dear. Also being a miser with your love and emotion, as well as money. So take a risk and get things moving again. 
Now, bragging or fawning will not get you ahead, so be patient and cultivate your best talents by being generous in your wealth and your spirit. Security and control are uppermost in your thoughts. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The King of Swords, Aquarius. This is you, can be a male or a female. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Sun, Moon, or Ascendance. This air sign is a real overthinker. They're blunt and abrupt. They're upfront with the truth. They're a good counselor, they speak with eloquence, and they give sound advice. They're fair, so listen for the correct approach. This is someone that's objective and logical, they're intelligent, they're authoritative and assertive, they're emotionally distant. This is someone that's a mastermind, they have an analytical mind, an intellect which they use in the pursuit of truth and justice. They're a direct communicator. His decisions are based on careful thought, and they know their own truth, and they will not bend to peer pressure or societal norms. He's assertive and can even be aggressive in the pursuit of justice. This is someone that's ethical, and they do not sway from what they believe is right. They know something. They have a connection. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the star. Here you are again, Aquarius. Sun, moon, are rising. This is a great love and great hope. This is faith renewed. It's renewal and mental stability. This is positive energy that's flowing freely into your life. So... It's your lucky stars being with you. The realization of dreams and goals that are now possible. So make the most of the now with these heavenly influences that are surrounding you. You're unseen. It's unseen help. So make the most of these bright promises. It's a good time to begin a new project or a relationship because it carries blessings with it. This is major growth and development. This is the presence of the Spirit being with you. It's being free from limiting beliefs. It's working past hardships. This is everything that you hope for becoming a reality, especially with the wheel and the ma magician in your reading. It's unexpected help, so you'll need to stay calm and positive. This is in love, a partnership that goes to the next level. It's nurturing a dream, and there's mental stability. And now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. Aquarius, you've got in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Really good reading here. Let go of the shore. Enter the flow. You're moving into a period of grace, ease, and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. Enjoy the ride. This isn't the time to try to control events of your life. Let the Creator support you. You don't have to do it all yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. The sacred traveler wants you to know that it's not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let it go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there's a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. It's not the right time. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. You just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations in your life or you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into the flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others and the spirit to support and help you. Here's your animal advice and inspiration. 
From the Deck by Susie Green. Aquarius, you've got kangaroo. Something's going to be happening, Aquarius. As events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. Kangaroo burns energy quickly when she first begins to hop, but once her rhythm is set, she bounds tirelessly under a warm sun. It is time to banish obstacles, be they fears which lurk in the dark hidden recesses of your mind or more tangible problems. They may seem insurmountable, but Kangaroo knows that after you take that first leap forward, events will take on their own momentum, and you, like Kangaroo, who cannot move backwards, will have no option but to go forward, your burdens falling behind you. Here's your take note moment. Aquarius, the law of your mind is the law of belief. We must know what belief is, why it works, and how it works. We need to believe in the way our mind works, to actually believe in belief itself. The belief of your mind is the thought of your mind. It's just that simple, just that. All of our experiences in life, events, conditions, and acts are the reaction of our subconscious mind to our thoughts. Okay, more next time, you guys, so I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. I hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.